morning, y'all. Good morning. I'm at the airport. I have had a fucking time. Not really, but really. But it's just um, I'm tired at this point. At this point, I'm really tired, and yeah. I had to catch a, I had to be at the airport at three o'clock. And I'm glad I did come early because it was a fucking mess. This is my last time flying with American Airlines. They systems was down, I had to pay for a check bag. I thought I already paid for a check bag. It was just a fucking mess. So, I'll be back, let me get to my gate. Y'all, I made it. <laughs> Just going out. I made it, y'all. I am in Brownsville, Texas. It is so pretty out here. Like, it's really nice out. It's really pretty. I absolutely love it. So, one thing that I didn't notice is that Saint. Um, St. Padre Island is out here. So, this is a good place to visit if you want to go there. You got to come here first. So, this will take you to St. Padre Island. I am waiting on my recovery home to pick me up. There was a small delay in our takeoff. So, um, they won't be here until 11. So, that's what I'm waiting for. I didn't see anybody else on my flight that could have possibly been um, going to go get their body done or nothing. So I'm just waiting on that. Um, I'm just waiting on that to happen. And that's it. It wasn't bad. RDU to DFW wasn't bad at all. And then DFW to Brownsville is not bad. Uh, just DFW was packed. It, it took us like an extra 10, 15 minutes to get out. So I'll be back. I'm going to save my battery so that I can... Um, Make sure I get some good footage um, of everything. It is so pretty. Now that I'm here, I want to go to the beach. But I keep y'all posted. Okay, y'all, I'm here in the flesh. This is what my room looks like. It's very small. Let me stand by the door. So me and someone else will be um, staying in here because she didn't have any room for a companion. So my best friend's not here. Um, everything has been good, y'all. I'm just sleepy. So I'm getting ready to watch me some TV and chill out because I'm sleepy. Um, I'm going to take a shower and yeah, I'm going to chill out. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm about to take a shower and take a um take a nap and that's what i'm gonna do so um surgery tomorrow 7 a.m tomorrow is when i need to go so um yeah i'm gonna get some rest it's real now y'all shit <laughs> oh and i'm gonna go ahead and pay my night bag and stuff so i can get all that stuff together so i'll be back Hey y'all, I'm just checking in. I am laying down. I should have brought an extra pillow. Cause this ain't it. I am laying down. My COVID results came through and I can't even check them because it says CVS is not available to those out of the US. And for whatever reason, it's just stuck spinning. At the juvenile criminal collegiate division, we actually and when I click on the Wi-Fi, okay. So that means the associate judge has Let's to read see. about 80 cases every week. So that comes out to 300 cases a month, you know. 
So these juvenile criminal cases go through collegiate court and the sentences are reported oh. to Mr. Kong, although protection cases are done separately and on specific days. It was a week before, so it must be for y'all. It must and have just worked for y'all. Right Ma'am, I apologize for the misunderstanding earlier. Okay. It's just when I first heard your name, so. I mistakenly assumed you'd be a man. And you're sure you're not somewhat disappointed about this that? This is what I would do. What? Oh. I'm going to record. Of course not. I hate so I can show it to my doctor. Yes. Um, it doesn't look like the whole page loaded. Because usually I can click and have it, but... I'm let me try to do it again. See? And then this is what it goes to. So I'm glad I did screen record. Because it goes to that. Yes, this is quite a bit, ma'am. Um, the perpetrator's name is Pak Sung Yoo, right? Yes. Let's arrange a date for the trial as early as possible. I don't Since know. This is an case, Let me see if I can get it sent to my email. Hey, it's almost MJ time, everyone. Oh, Mr. Kong won't be joining us today. He's made other plans. Um, it's a, a little tradition we have here. MJ is just short for meal with judge. The kids who've just been released meet with the judge and staff. We go out and have a meal together and chat a little. We all go to a restaurant somewhere just to catch okay. up with them. You think it really so. helps them out. I'm going to try to see if I can get the whole page to, shot, to show. Come along with us today. Um, if the associate judge doesn't come when Mr. I don't know Trump what this is going on. I think that's anything. some scam like shit. I don't know. But, yeah, it didn't come to my email. Is one of the responsibilities I'm about to see what I can do to try to get in to get it. So it shows my name and stuff because you I know that damn well they are not going to um, they expect to meet you, man. just go off of that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, I know that. I'm not that crazy. Do I have to go? But I was able to get so in the before, so, so let's do this. Let's turn the... Yeah. yeah, but I'm still looking into becoming a security guard. I turned the wifi off. I already got a license and I passed my final exams at the detention center. Oops. They're working on the door, yeah. I'm just glad they're doing it today and not the day of my surgery because I'm too cute. Okay. I'm trying to get this shit below. I'm going to work on this. I'll be back. Y'all ahead to come back. I got it to, to, to pull up everything. So. Download this. PDF. I swear it wasn't me. I didn't take anything, all right? But listen, trust me, I didn't do it. I swear to God, I didn't steal from her. IPhone. Let's call the police now. This is all a waste of time. Hey, Judge Shem, she just got released from the detention center, you know? Correct. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm in She's the... only been out for a few hours. Hey, y'all, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Um, the password. When I tell y'all I have been knocked out, I have been knocked out. I was asleep. Um, they came up, they gave me some soup, some rice, and like um, some flat, like tortilla shells. I don't know what they're called. I don't mean dis be disrespectful to anyone's culture. Um. And then I just got some apples with some yogurt. It was really good. And um, now I'm up just trying to work on some things. Um, trying to get my iPad connected to the Wi-Fi or whatever. Because they do have Wi-Fi here. Um, Y'all ain't got nervous to skate yet. <laughs> I just... Just... I was anxious to get here, and I guess I got here, and that was good enough for me. <laughs> so that's what I'm waiting on. Um, see if my nerves gonna kick in. Um, this is. Let me show y'all something. This is the out part. That is her massage cart over there with her vitals and stuff like that. I can see it. 
and with the wound changes and stuff like that that's a walker and around that corner is the bathroom and then around this corner is the stairs just to let y'all know that just wanted to check in with y'all um i should have brought my freaking um i should have brought my freaking laptop so that i could edit some videos but i wanted to all put it together from the day before all the way to my first week until i go back home so that's why i didn't yeah. but kind of wish i would have i don't know what i seen it his word is incorrect because it's right. Seven. Oh, because I didn't do big X. My bad. Q T P J T Z Big L and a zero. Well, all right, y'all. I'll be back. Hey y'all. So one last look at this bad body that I was blessed with. It has carried me through. Let me do this. Okay. It has carried me through and through and through. Okay. And through. So, sit y'all up here. And let's go for it. Let me see. Can I brighten this up? Let me zoom out. This is it. Bye-bye. I'm sorry, Judge Shim. I should have kept my mouth shut. Don't worry about all that. I've had to go through this kind of thing before. Okay. I see you. Okay. Oh. So. This is what the juvenile intake is. I am so excited. Okay. Their own investigation my face is better. It's better. back someone who's chat with someone on social media. That's the content awesome. is a bit. I think they're very intimate with each other. I am too excited, y'all. I'm about to go. Um, this contact. So, the juvenile no forensic center asked them if Hanya Moon has any other social media accounts. So, I, um, so I ate already. Um, earlier they brought me some kind of chicken soup. I'll insert that. Then she brought me apples and like a yogurt kind of consistency for to dip my apples in um like fruit um what's it called fruit yogurt or something like that and then she just made me well she had originally brought me like some i want to say they chorizos or something like that but it's like a flat shell kind of cooked um and then it had beef and the onions on it and she had like some feta cheese and some sour cream unfortunately i can't eat that because i can't eat beef or pork um, she did not stand, understand English too well, so I used my translator, and then I also contacted the primary nurse, and she translated to her, and I apologize, because I should have let them know ahead of time that I don't eat beef or pork. So she made me a grilled Caesar salad. It was slamming. I'll leave that. I'll put, and put that. So I'm about to go take my plate, meet her halfway downstairs, because when I say they wait on you hand, foot, and toe, hand, foot, and toe, okay? So... I'll be back y'all okay y'all so i just found another thing so they do three shifts so it's about to be another nurse in here um right now i was going to take the camera out there but i didn't want to invade somebody's property i mean personal space um because they are getting um taken care of physically uh recovering from their surgery so i have not seen anybody nobody's seen my face i haven't seen their face everybody keeps their door closed um so yeah let me see my battery my battery is good um it's go time y'all i'm just ready to go get out with um <laughs> this is what i'm at with it i'm just ready to get out with um 
when she comes out the restroom, she's gonna clean and bleach the restroom and then I go in and pee because I had to pee really bad. And what else? That's it. So y'all won't hear from me again until 7 a.m. Yeah, 7 a.m. and I'm an hour behind Eastern time. So yeah, 7 a.m. which East Coast will be 8 a.m. And then I'll have everything to take care of Lisa. See y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, it's two o'clock in the morning and I cannot sleep. I'm anxious, I'm ready to get it over with. I'm not scared, um, surprisingly. I thought I would be, I got this heating bed, on, this heating pad on my back, cause this bed, it's hurting my back. But, um, I thought I'd be scared by now. I'm probably get scared when I get up to the hospital, I know that. But like, I'm not scared at all. Um, I just can't go to sleep and I'm sleepy as fuck. But I think it's because... <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. I'm trying to fix this on my back. Honestly, I think it's because I slept all day. I slept in this motherfucker like a bear. Do you hear me? Like, I really slept. Um, it's still empty. Nobody's in that bed yet, so. And I kind of got my stuff all over the place, too. So. When they get here, <laughs> it'll all be out the way. Um, oh, yeah. Let me show y'all. I don't know. Did I show y'all? I had my bags packed um, over there. That's um, on this side right here is my pillow this side over here is my um what is it called this side over here is my hospital bag so that's what this stuff is and then i got my laptop my journal i'm gonna i'll put it in that bag too but anyway So I just turned on the gym and I mean, y'all ever see that TikTok where, <laughs> y'all ever seen that TikTok where they be like, um, <laughs> black people do the weirdest shit and they turn on something and then they turn over and go to sleep? That's what I'm about to do. My baby texted me, so I'm going to text her time I fall asleep. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unplug my phone so I don't forget my charger and stuff in the morning. And don't forget my camera charger. And I, well, I don't need my camera charger. I'm good on it. It's charged. So I will see y'all at the hospital. Hey, y'all. Good morning. So it's 6.40. I'm getting ready to go downstairs. See if they're ready to go. I need to be there at 7 o'clock. She said it's 10 minutes away. So I just got on my gown. Uh, no bra, no drawers. And my crop. And socks, so let's go. Hey y'all, so I'm here. Here's my this is my room. Let me turn it around so y'all can see. Here got me looking all crazy. So this is a sink in the bathroom. It's really nice. Actually, the shower. The couch is a little run down. Looks like I can have my Netflix. And this is it. Okay, y'all, so she came in and brought me this paper that they pull out. So that's what I'm about to do. And then she also wants me to put on my compression socks. So I'll go ahead and put on my compression socks. Um, Pretty sure I can take my mask off now. I'm here now. So, I'll be back y'all. I just want to jump in and do what I'm supposed to do. Show y'all. Because nobody ever showed me. So, I'll be back. Make sure y'all download Google Translate too. Okay, y'all. One thing I do notice is that they give you a K3 consent form. 
saying that anesthesia procedure has been given to you and understood i'm not gonna sign it until my doctor comes in here and explains it to me okay so just keep that in mind when you're signing stuff okay y'all so they tell me to put on my compression socks this is what they look like these are the same ones that i packed in my last video so pay attention to that i got all my stuff figured out there i put my drains on the bed so that they'll know i bring my drains and i'm gonna put this mask in my bag okay y'all dr Riviera was really nice i am marked up i'm just gonna show y'all like i am marked up he was really nice he smelled really good um he does speak english and um he is using my drains he said they are much better um and yeah so i'm excited he did not look at my wish picks uh he understood though because i see the markings so we'll see i hit y'all up when i get out of surgery my nerves is a little bit better um and the anesthesiologist should be coming so hey y'all um, i've just been asleep i ain't had surgery yet i'm still waiting um it's 12 18. i've been here since 7 16. um the anesthesiologist came in like two hours ago and told me I had to choose whether I'm going to do my tummy tuck or my lipo 360. So I'm going to go with lipo 360 and BBL. I get my tummy tuck done later um, because she said my hemoglobin was 12.8 on my labs. But I've been taking builders, so I'm sure it's higher, but um, maybe it's my fault. I should have got a recheck, but um, she said she doesn't recommend me get both because I could possibly have to have a blood transfusion. So I'm going to listen. I ain't about to be all here. So, I've been waiting for Dr. Riviera to come back and um, talk to me. But I think he's still on somebody else because she did tell me somebody else was here prior to me. Um, so, I guess he took her first and then he'll do me. So, I'll be back after I come out of surgery, y'all. This is a long process. Patience is the most thing that you can, important thing that you have. Patience and understanding. So, I'll be back. I'm in sleep. I'm about to go back to sleep. I just got to pee. <laughs> So I'll be back. <sighs> okay, y'all. Hopefully, the focus in on me. I am tired of waiting. <laughs> I ain't got scared of anything yet. I gotta pee. Damn. I keep having to pee. I'm sure it's this IV. Oh, ooh. I just hit it, bitch. Um, I still ain't back yet. Um, nobody has came back in here. So the anesthesiologist, I don't know if I told y'all this because I'm going to sleep. Um, she came in and said that I got to choose whether I'm going to do a tummy tuck or whether I'm going to do my BBL and lipo because my hemo was a 12.8. That was March 8th when my um, labs was run, run. But I have been taking the blood builders this whole time. So I thought there would be a difference. But I should have got it checked again prior to me coming so that was my fault but it's cool i'm gonna go with my bbl and my lipo um i'll probably go to miami or something for my tummy tuck only because while i've been here i rang this um this nurse call button nobody has not came i rung it two hours three four <gasps> yeah two to three hours ago nobody ever came um nobody has came in to check on me like it's not, I don't know if it's because I'm black or what, but it's not the best best I'm in. Uh, Dr. Rivera, he's good, but like nobody has came to check in on me. And it could be because I simply just haven't had surgery yet. I don't know, but I would have came in and just said, hey, I'm just checking on you. I know you've been here since 7 16 this morning. Uh, Dr. Rivera is finishing up, or he's working on this person. It'll be about four hours before your surgery or something, but nobody has done that, so. Um, kind of a little irritated, but, you know, you can't speak, you know, when you somewhere else, you can't be in shit <laughs> at all, so, um, you just gotta go with the flow and stuff, and you don't piss nobody off, because you need them, you wait, you get home, see, that's what a lot of people fuck up at, they start cutting up before, um, 
anybody can help them and then nobody wants to help them. I ain't doing this shit. I talk shit when I get home. But um, the band-aids on my mouth and on my eye is to cover my piercings because um, I could not take them out. I couldn't get them out. Um, Y'all know this is uh, implanted. Um, and then this, I couldn't unscrew it like at all. And I forgot to go to the um, tattoo place and get them to put my retainers in. So I do got the retainers in my nose though. Um, what else? But I still ain't scared of nothing yet. I was a little antsy before when I thought it was getting closer because he had marked me up. So, um, let me just show y'all why well, I can't because I done closed my gown. But he had marked me up. He even marked my arm up somewhere. So, um, to lump up my arm. There it go. To lump up my arm or whatever. So, we'll see. But I'll be back, y'all. Hey y'all, I've just been asleep. I ain't had surgery yet. I'm still waiting. Um, it's 12:18. I've been here since 7:16. Um, the anesthesiologist came in like two hours ago and told me I had to choose whether I'm gonna do my tummy tuck or my lipo 360. So I'm gonna go with lipo 360 and BBL. I get my tummy tuck done later. Um, because she said my hemoglobin was 12.8 on my labs. But I've been taking builders. So I'm sure it's higher. But um, maybe it's my fault. I should have got it rechecked. But um, she said she doesn't recommend me get both. Because I could possibly have to have a blood transfusion. So I'm going to listen. I ain't about to be all here. So I've been waiting for Dr. Riviera to come back. And um, talk to me. But I think he's doing somebody else. Because she did tell me somebody else was here prior to me um so i guess he took her first and then he'll do me so i'll be back after i come out of surgery y'all this is a long process patience is the most thing that you can important thing that you have patience and understanding so i'll be back i'm in sleep i'm about to go back to sleep i just gotta pee <laughs> so i'll be back okay y'all hopefully the focus in on me i am Tired of waiting. <laughs> I ain't got scared of nothing yet. I got pee. Damn. I keep having to pee. I'm sure it's this IV. Oh, ooh. I just hit it, bitch. Um, I still ain't back yet. Um, nobody has came back in here. So, the anesthesiologist, I don't know if I told y'all this because I'm going to sleep. Um, she came in and said that I gotta choose whether I'm gonna do a tummy tuck or whether I'm gonna do my BBL and lipo because my hemo was a 12.8. That was March 8th when my um, labs was run, run. But I have been taking the blood builders this whole time. So I thought there would be a difference, but I should have got it checked again prior to me coming. So that was my fault, but it's cool. I'm gonna go with my BBL and my lipo. Um, I'll probably go to Miami or something for my tummy tuck. Only because while I've been here, I rang this um this nurse call button. Nobody has not came. I rung it two hours three, four. <gasps> yeah, two to three hours ago. Nobody ever came. Um nobody has came in to check on me. Like it's not I don't know if it's because I'm black or what, but it's not the best best I'm in here. Uh, Dr. Rivera, he's good, but like nobody has came to check in on me. And it could be because I simply just haven't had surgery yet. I don't know, but I would have came in and just said, hey, I'm just checking on you. I know you've been here since 716 this morning. Uh, Dr. Rivera is finishing up or he's working on this person. It'll be about four hours before your surgery or something, but nobody has done that. So, um, kind of a little irritated, but you know you can't speak you know when you somewhere else you can't be speaking shit <laughs> at all so um you just gotta go with the flow and stuff and you're gonna piss somebody off because you need them you when you get home see that's what a lot of people fuck up at they start cutting up before um anybody can help them and then nobody wants to help them i ain't doing this shit i talk shit when i get home but um the band-aids on my mouth and on my eye is to cover my piercings because um i could not take them out i couldn't get them out um y'all know this is uh implanted um and then this i couldn't unscrew it like at all and i forgot to go to the um tattoo place and get them to put my retainers in so 
I do got the retainers in my nose though. Um, what else? But I still ain't scared of nothing yet. I was a little antsy before when I thought it was getting closer because he had marked me up. So, um, let me just show y'all why I can't because I didn't close my gown. But he had marked me up. He even marked my arm up so well. So, uh, to lump up my arm, there it go. To lump up my arm or whatever. So, we'll see. But I'll be back, y'all.